If you are exporting data from Power BI to SharePoint, OneDrive, whatever, using Power Automate, you are going to notice that the column names contain both the table name and the column name. And the reason why they have that is because if you are picking different fields from different tables with the same name, you need to know which one is which one. So there is reason for the magnets, but depending on what we're doing with the export, you might not want to have the table name attached to the column name. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to change the column names before you're actually doing exporting it or sending an email or whatever it is that you want to do. So let's get started. So on a previous video, I showed you how to automatically export data and we export it as a CSV to OneDrive and this is how the CSV looked like. And you see, this is the table name and that's the column name and we want to change that. So to do that, we're going to reuse the flow that we did on that video. I'm going to post the link down below so you can actually follow along if you want with the entire flow. Um, but I will not recreate these steps. So what we're going to do is, what this flow does is every 10 minutes, it goes to a Power BI data set on the service, grabs some data, creates a CSV table, puts it into OneDrive. And what we want to do is create a step between these two to be able to change the table names before the CSV is created. So we're going to add a step here. And there is a data operation called select that allows you to grab things from arrays and tables and things like that. So we're going to use that and we're going to get the first table rows. It needs to be an array for some reason. So we're going to grab that. And then it allows you to map things from whatever table was feed into the step. So we have four columns on this data set, as you saw on the CSV. We have date, order ID, product ID, and sales. So we're going to map those with the new name. So calendar date is going to be called date. How do you change the name? So you go here to expression, and you need to write like this. You do item, and then parenthesis, question mark, and then you need to, let me check the syntax, you need to grab now the column name as it is on the data set, that, the data that is coming in. So you put it in between square brackets and then you need to put it the actual name between a single quotation mark. So you grab that and then you put calendar and then you put the date. That's how the column is called. And that's all you need to do. And now I'm going to do it for all columns. So um, do it faster. You don't have to wait for me. Okay, so now that we have this, we need to go to the next step and we need to change the output. So the CSV, create CSV output should be the output of the select one, not the Power BI one. Click save and let's give, give it a whirl and see if it works. Hopefully it does. A few moments later. Okay, so now that we have mapped all of the columns, the only thing that you need to do is save and test. Um, fingers crossed that we did okay. Let's see. Test. Run. Done. Moments later. So it's saved. Let's go to OneDrive a few seconds ago. And voila, now we have proper column names to the exports. So I hope this was useful. On the next video, I am going to show you how to save to a local folder because that's been highly requested and it's actually quite easy to do. So see you tomorrow.